What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. The Las Vegas Raiders have benched Derek Carr and it looks like that might have been his last game as a Raider against the Steelers. So today what we're going to do is a train Derek Carr and also train Devontae Adams Raiders Rebo because the only reason Adams is on the Raiders is because of Carr which he said himself. So today we're going to make a fun little video doing this Raiders Rebuild. Let's go. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like in this one. Of course, subscribe if you are new to this channel, as always, greatly appreciated. But the Las Vegas Raiders, man, it has not been the season they have expected. They kind of went all in this season, and it has not really worked out. So, as we know, Carr has been benched officially, and they are going to be going with Jarrett Stidham for the rest of the season. So, that is what we're going to do in this video. And then ultimately, we are going to trade Derek Carr. And then we're also going to trade away Devontae Adams because I don't know what's going to happen. I assume Derek Carr has played his last game with the Raiders just based off how things have been said. And it just feels like it just feels that's the way it's going right now. Of course, and Adams posts on Instagram that he stands with his, you know, his friend, his brother, whatever. And the only reason he is a Raider is because of Derek Carr. So if Derek Carr is gone, it makes you wonder would Adams want to be gone too? We're going to make that happen. So we're going to send it to the end of the season. The last time I did a Raiders rebuild and I replaced Derek Carr, I signed Tom Brady. Well, this time I'm not doing that today because there is the connection with Josh Daniels and Tom Brady and stuff like that, which could happen. But today we're not doing that. We're going to send it to the offseason. And I think I'm just going to truly draft a quarterback for the Raiders and develop that way. You see all this? This could be you. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best way to get more out of the game you're watching. You're picking overs or unders on your favorite players that you love watching each and every Sunday. Let me show you how it works. Prize Picks is available on mobile or desktop, and they pretty much have every sport you can absolutely imagine NFL, NBA, soccer, CSGO. But since we're an NFL channel, we're going to go ahead and talk about the NFL for a second. So let's say I want to go Derek Carr and Patrick Mahomes over on both of them. Two players gets me up to three times my money. But if I wanted to go even crazier, let's say I want to do five players, throw five players in here. You can go up to five players, which that's going to 10 times your money if you get all correct, which you can go flex play. Even if you get four right, you still get a little bit of money in return. Now, I will tell you, I have started with $100 in here, and I'm up to 500 Price Picks has been so much fun for me this year. If you want to go ahead and sign up, Link is down in the description below. Use code CRUSHBLES. They're matching your deposit dollar for dollar up to $100. So if you deposit $100, you get $200 to work with. Thank you, Prize Picks, for sponsoring today's video. So at the end of the season, we end up finishing 7-10 and 10 on the season as expected. And like I said, this Raiders team just didn't get to the expectations they would have expected for themselves. They kind of had an all-in offseason. The whole AFC West kind of had an all-in offseason where they were trying to dethrone the Chiefs and... Hasn't really worked out. The Chargers have been like the only team that have looked remotely kind of successful in a way. Not dethroning the Chiefs uh, by any means, but just the Broncos, the Raiders, both down bad. They just have not had great seasons by any means. The Broncos, even worse, I will say. But uh, as far as guys we need to resign, one thing that I find interesting is Josh Jacobs. What do the Raiders want to do with Josh Jacobs? If you listen to the uh, the interview that Josh Jacobs recently had, it sounded like he was no way, shape, or form gonna resign with the Raiders I mean they didn't pick up his fifth year option he's been one of the best running backs in the league this year for this video I want to keep him as much as possible I think it's very possible that he doesn't resign with the Raiders the Raiders could technically franchise tag him but I want to bring him back I want to keep him a Raider one thing I want to keep consistent on this team he's only 25 as well is a run game and Josh Jacobs has proved he is that good and he is going to decline our offer franchise tagging a running back would cost us 16 million do you really franchise tag a running back? I don't know. Maybe I gamble away in free agency. I don't know if I want to franchise tag a running back. Rocky Scene is also a free agent. I'm going to offer him a deal to try to bring him back, and he is back. So we got that taken care of. The biggest thing we need to prioritize is re-signing Josh Jacobs if possible. If not, he will be gone very quickly. So we're going to go into free agency, though. Before we do that, like I said we were going to do, we're going to be trading away Derek Carr first and then Devontae Adams. I think Derek Carr, at the very least, is kind of a mid-tier quarterback where you're actually really excited about him, but then there's some times you see him and you're just like, what are you doing? Like, I don't know. It's just it's sometimes I love Derek Carr, and other times I'm just kind of questioning what he's doing. I'm turning him to the Giants, though, for a third and a fifth-round pick. The Giants don't have Daniel Jones on a fifth-year option. I don't know what they plan on doing with him. Daniel Jones has actually been kind of solid this year, but I am sending Derek Carr over to the Giants for a team that desperately needs a quarterback. We get a third and a fifth in return for Derek Carr. I think that's pretty decent value. Maybe I should have got two thirds, kind of like what Carson Wentz got, but whatever, I'll take it, third and a fifth. 
And then I'm trading Devontae Adams to another NFC East team where we're getting a first and a second, just like the Packers got for Devontae Adams. I don't know his value would be even higher. I mean, he's still the same guy. Obviously, still one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Sending him to the Eagles for a 30 and 62 in this draft. So just like that, we have officially traded Derek Carr and Devontae Adams away. So clearly, the next step is getting a new quarterback on the roster. We have Hunter Renfro. Darren Waller is also someone that I could see the Raiders trading away, to be honest with you. Renfro is here to stay uh, Albert Wilson is here, but uh, as far as Darren Waller is concerned, he's like 20 or he's 30 years old. The Packers have been very interested in him, but I don't think I'm going to trade him. I think I'm just going to leave him the way he is right now because tight ends aren't easy to get right in this game anyway. So Darren Waller can stay. We need a quarterback and we do need Josh Jacobs in this offensive line still needs to be reinvented as well. Chandler Jones is probably going to have to stay. We have Nate Hobbs, Rocky Seen. Uh, definitely need to, you know, look at the, you know, uh, there's a lot we need. So we're going to go into free agency. Now that those two guys are gone, and we're going to retool in a way. So I have five offers here in free agency. One on Josh Jacobs, of course. One on Juju Smith-Schuster. I honestly ain't going to like have my feelings too hurt if I don't get them. Looks like the Patriots and the Giants are in the lead on that one. Marcus Davenport, Drill Peppers, and Jack Conklin. So I'm hoping I can at least get four or five of these guys. If I don't get Juju, like I said, no big deal. We got Davenport, we got Josh Jacobs, and we got Jabril Peppers. We did not get Conklin or Juju, which we kind of figured would be the case. But one thing we did do is get Jacobs back, which is awesome. Davenport is here and Jabril Peppers. That's two really nice additions to the defense. We're not really trying to tank. We're actually we're still trying to flip it immediately as quick as we can. Uh, other wide receivers we can go for. We got like Landry, Tim Patrick is here. I didn't realize Tim Patrick was that old. 29 years old. Holy moly. Del Nelson Aguilar, Alan Lazard. Uh, might have to just go through the draft. Isaiah McKenzie could be a solid addition on the team as well. Nice little weapon. I'll sign him. And I think that'll be my free agency. So if no one else is going to go for Isaiah McKenzie. I will. I think he's a pretty solid wide receiver. The Falcons have swooped in. They might steal him from me. And I don't get him. No big deal. We're just going to head to the draft now with these picks that we got for Carr and Adams. And just build through there now. One thing I want to do before we jump into the draft is address definitely a position of need, and that is the offensive line. I'm going from Mekhi Becton from the New York Jets, who can never stay healthy over there. We're trading a second and a third in next year's draft. Reason being is because he is a superstar development right tackle. That's going to be opposite of Colton Miller. So we got that kind of figured out in the offensive line. Still a lot of things we need to address. We don't really have a good wide receiver. We don't have a good quarterback. There's obviously clearly a lot. We need a middle linebacker. We need a mid... We need a D tackle. There's still a lot. Another corner is definitely still going to be needed. Like there's a lot. There's definitely a lot we need to address, but one thing at a time. And now we can jump into the draft and have the best success we possibly can. First pick is going to be quarterback at pick 11, whether it's Will Levis, Anthony Richardson, or whoever's on the board, I think is going to be our pick. So at pick number 11, we have CJ Strauss on the board and I can't help but take him here. Don't know if he'd fall that far. Probably not, but we need a quarterback. So the fact that he's fallen here, I think it makes all the sense in the world to go ahead and draft him. Only normal dev, but I will still take that very, very much so. So welcome to the Raiders, CJ Stroud. Very happy with that. At pick number 30, I think I want to go on the defense side of the ball or a wide receiver to pair alongside, uh, you know, CJ Stroud. We got Josh Downs. We got a middle linebacker. We got a strong safety, a corner, driven Dexter. We definitely need a D tackle as well. So going D tackle wouldn't hurt either. I could have waited to grab Richardson and drafted something earlier. You also have a center. A lot of things we definitely need. Um, a middle linebacker is definitely needed, but I think I might go Jervin Dexter here to uh, draft here at the D tackle spot. We definitely need a D tackle, and I think Dexter fits the bill. Very good ratings across the board. Welcome to the Raiders, Jervin Dexter. We traded one of our second round picks, so we don't have both of them. One was for Makai Becton. So round two pick 11, we definitely need to make sure we draft exactly what we need here. Middle linebacker still position of need. I still draft the Alabama middle linebacker. Definitely need to still address offensive line. Still need to draft a wide receiver. So still definitely some things that we need to address here. But as far as who's on the board, not seeing anything I'm in love with. So honestly, I might just draft the middle linebacker who has fallen this far uh, in uh, what's his name? It's Henry out of Alabama. Don't know much about him, but we definitely need a middle linebacker. So I'm going to go with Henry here to start things off in the third round and or that was the second round my apologies all right round three i think we go offensive lineman and wide receiver i think we have to grab a wide receiver no matter what so offensive line wide receiver is the goal here so you got rasheed rice i don't know much about him at all christopher smith zay flowers cornelius johnson rakeem jarrett uh zion nelson i mean is there any we got okay i probably am gonna draft justin patterson out of notre dame to get a center a legitimate center here so i'm gonna go with him 
And then round three, I mean, wide receivers are a little bit bleak that are on the board. We get to pick next. And we just got to make sure we just grab whatever we can get. So let's go look at the wide receivers. And we're going to have to develop somebody into an absolute stud. So wide receivers on the board. Got Rice, Zay Flowers out of Boston College, Cornelius Johnson, Marvin Mims, Jermaine Burton. I am going to go with Zay Flowers, I think, out of Boston College. Deep threat wide receiver. We definitely need a wide receiver to place Devontae Adams. So going to go Zay Flowers here. Feel pretty good about that. And that will probably be my draft ultimately unless I can get something good in round four as well. So I'll go round four, and then I think that'll be my offseason. So definitely going to be an interesting season now that we've uh, traded away Carr and Adams and gone a different direction. Uh, Justin Flo is still on the board, and Justin Jacobs still on the board. So kind of like both those guys. And then you also have Justin, J or well, I already said that. Marvin Mims also kind of interesting. I am going to go with Justin Flo, though. I don't like my middle linebacker position, so I'm going to just make sure we double down and uh, get him another middle linebacker. So... That will be our off season. We probably should have taken a corner as well, but whatever. We're happy with what we were able to accomplish. And I don't expect to make the playoffs next season, but you never really know. We'll see what happens. So offensively, this is what the team is looking like going into season at number two. It's not great, but we're just gonna have to work with it. Makai Becton, Colton Miller, Jarrett Patterson, James, Darren Waller at tight end, Hunter Renfro is our number one, Zay Flowers, CJ Shroud is the new quarterback. Josh Jacobs, obviously we have to rely on the run game quite a bit on the defense side of the ball. You have like Justin Flo, Deion Diablo, Jabril Peppers. We also have another corner here, which I feel pretty good about. I'm going to throw him in the slot. And then you'll have Jervin Dexter, Bilal Nichols, Davenport, Chandler Jones, Trayvon Mulrig. So feeling pretty good about it for the most part. We're going to have to hope and pray that this is just a good season. And uh, maybe we could just flip it around and find a way into the playoffs. We'll see how it goes. Don't know really what to expect. Just kind of depends on CJ Stroud's shoulders. We're going to simulate the playoffs and see where we're at. So at the end of the season, we finish with a mediocre nine and eight, but Hey, that gets us into the playoffs. We go up against the Buffalo bills in the first round and wild card weekend. So it looks like CJ Stroud came in and immediately made an impact. Offense was 12th in the NFL defensively 27. So not great. 30 and 11 CJ Stroud was fantastic. Josh Jacobs, 16 touchdowns, 1300 yards receiving Hunter Renfro and Zay flowers. Both got involved heavily Waller and even Malik Turner. We definitely need another wide receiver. It's kind of poverty, but regardless, a from Jervin Dexter as a uh, rookie, which is great. A from Davenport, seven and a half from Crosby, one and a half, one, and then half from Dion Von, D Devon Diablo, Harvey Sage, Will Peppers, uh, Rocky Sin, and Nate Hobbs all got some interceptions. All right, not expecting much. We get the Bills in round one. I mean, maybe we can come in and upset them right away. I highly doubt it. it. Looks like it's going to be a blizzard game. Let's just jump in. No expectations. If we win, great. If we don't, no big deal. I mean, I'm not even expecting to win a Super Bowl this quickly anyway. One thing I will say is hopefully CJ... Wow, there's no blizzard here. But one thing I will say is I hope CJ Stroud gets start development. That would be awesome if we could have that going into the next season. Bills go up 3-0, to zero and we're going to take a touchdown uh, four-point lead, which we love to see. But the Bills get it, good field position. But we respond with a touchdown. So the offense is scoring. The defense is playing pretty decent as well. 14-10 to 10 so far. They get another field goal. We could score again and technically... We could beat the Bills here if we just put the foot on the pedal, but it's not looking like it might happen here. 17-23. Uh, 17-26. Do we... Okay, we're going to score here. Do we get the ball back? 20... No, never got the ball back. I was thinking about jumping in if we got the ball back there, but we lose to the Bills in round one. No big deal. Was not expecting to. The fact that we made this game competitive is just a good sign in my opinion. So we're going to go into next season feeling pretty good about this uh, after we have a great offseason. We also lost to the team that eventually went on to win the Super Bowl over to the Cowboys, and we, I, in a way, had a chance to beat them. So we have to feel pretty good about where we're at as a team. But obviously, this offseason is going to be important to push this team even more over the top. $122 million in cap space, a lot of money to spend, and it looks like we have not that many free agents to worry about. Makai Becton is one, which we traded for him. So, yeah, I would love to resign him. Uh, we're going to give him a four-year deal and bring him back to stay our right tackle. So Makai Becton is back. Uh, Blau Nichols, I think I can get better there. Andre James, uh, 27. Uh, sure, why not? I'll give him a deal. Why not? And he's back. Okay. So we got that going for us. Defensively is where we struggled last year, which is where I'm going to kind of primarily put my focus on. I'm very, very excited about what we could do this offseason with this amount of cap space. With a rookie quarterback that we believe in, we are spending some money in free agency. Going for Michael Pittman, Chris Lindstrom, Jalen Johnson, Ed Oliver, and Devin White to cap things off. So if I can get all five of these guys, that would be great, great additions to this Vegas Raiders roster. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, all four of them signed, and Michael Pittman has not decided just yet, and he does sign. So just like that, we got everybody we asked for. So we got Ed Oliver, and I'm going to think what I'm going to do 
although i don't necessarily what well, this will let's take a look at our options so we got chris lindstrom which i absolutely love so we're gonna throw him on the offensive line so the offensive line is way better than we've ever seen it michael pittman hunter renfro got superstar dev michael pittman zay flowers i love that very much on the defensive side of the football we got devin white with justin flo and henry so middle linebacker depth is amazing uh, the one thing I needed to look at is I went ahead and signed Ed Oliver, although we have Jervin Dexter. But I guess what we can do is we can move Jervin Dexter to left in and had Ed Oliver play that D tackle position. And then Jarrell Peppers, I think, got superstar dev. So we're in a very good spot right now. We really are. Davenport, Dexter, and Ed Oliver, I feel really good about. And on the offense side of the football, I feel really good about what we have over here as well. And now that we have uh, Davenport and Dexter, and boom, just like that. This is your new reinvented uh, defense. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is Chandler Jones. I can't really trade him. His penalty is way too high, so there's not really much I can do with him. He is a superstar X Factor, though, so I have to just hope that kind of, you know, makes up for it. Hopefully, he is just fine. I could sign another pass rushing linebacker, but I don't think I need to. Honestly, as well, I'm probably just going to head straight past the draft. I guess I could sign a linebacker. I have the money to do it. Rashawn Gary would have been amazing if I did it, so... Uh, let's go see if there's a good linebacker available. We got Frankie Louvu. Maybe there's not anymore. Bobby Wagner, Patrick Queen. We got our middle linebacker. Okay, there's really not. I mean, we could make a trade for one. We have the money. You know what? Why not? We have the cap space. We're trying to go all in, basically. We believe in CJ Stroud. The window of opportunity is now. Let's go for a linebacker to upgrade over Chandler Jones just to be safe. I'm trading a second and a third for Zedarius Smith. He is 30 years old, and it is a little bit of a risky trade. But I honestly am just in the moment where I want to go win a Super Bowl right now. I tried to get Josh Allen, but the Jaguars couldn't trade him because that would, have, you know, the penalty was too high for them to trade him. But we got our quarterback, and we got Zadarius Smith, who can play over Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones is just really nice depth. So now Crosby, Diablo, Devin White, Drill Pepper. I mean, I love this defense. I'm in love. So let's go into next season. Let's see if this team can go win a Super Bowl. I'm feeling pretty good about what we were able to put together. Hope it works out for us. We made it to the playoffs last year. Now I want to win double-digit victories. Maybe get a bye. That'd be awesome too. And we can be a Super Bowl contender, hopefully. So at the end of the season, we end up finishing the year 13-4. and four. Did not get a bye though, unfortunately. The Chiefs went 12-5, and five, Broncos 10-7. and seven. So we probably had three teams from the AFC West make the playoffs. Uh, take a look at the player stats. Offense was first in the NFL, which is amazing. So our offense can score defensively 12th i'll take that over what i think it was 27th last year 46 and 16 jacob's amazing uh renfro Pittman, and zay flowers darren waller almost all a thousand yard wide receivers sacks wise crosby had 18 and 11 half from davenport 11 from dexter nine from uh at oliver so we were getting a bunch of sacks getting off the quarterback devin white of course 131 tackles five interceptions mo rake same thing two interceptions feeling pretty good this team has built was built to go win a super bowl so if we can't get that done I will be very, very disappointed. So the Broncos start off with the football, and I think they got a field goal, and we respond with a touchdown. We get a good field position. Defense got a uh, turnover, and we're up 14-3 just like that. 21-3 lead now. I mean, if you're going to let our offense get – if our defense is going to get turnovers, our offense is going to respond with touchdowns. Our offense is ranked first in the NFL. What do you expect? 3-28 to so far, beating down our division opponent, 6-28. to and now we're going to go up. Oh, I thought we were going to go up 6 to 35 there, but maybe we do it here. No, 14 to 28. Don't let the back in the game. Well, there's not enough time, actually. So we're moving on, on to the divisional weekend. I really wish we got a bye, but it looks like we maybe get to go play the Titans potentially. We'll see what happens. And like I said, now we head to divisional weekend going up against the Tennessee Titans. I mean, who is their quarterback at this point? I'm actually curious to see who it is. It's not going to show it is. It's going to show CJ Stroud instead. So. Yeah, I mean, it's either going to be Ryan Tannehill or Malik Willis, and neither one of those guys scare me all that much. So I would really hope and pray that we can come out here and just take advantage and go up 7-0, to zero, start things off. We do just that, and yeah, I'm actually really curious who their quarterback is. I mean, Derrick Henry is the quarterback technically, or not really, but you get what I'm saying. We did a Titans video the other day, and Derrick Henry is the reason why we won so much. All right, 7-17, to 7-24. to 24. Are we really going to lose in round two like this? 13-24, there we go. Go score again offense. There, we're back in at 14 to 21. 21 27. Uh, I'm going to trust my team. I'm going to trust my team to get the lead here. They just the, do just that. 28. We really just. Who, Will Levis. Will Levis beat us 28 to 30. I should have jumped in and played defense. 
Oh, well, I'll take my L. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crushables. Staying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.